serial bus capture mode is active, a special trigger form is provided for each serial bus type that GoLogic XL supports. While the never and immediate forms are available when serial bus mode is active, the simple, series, time between, and custom trigger forms are not available. This is because special trigger resources are required to trigger on a long stream of serial bits. To trigger on serial bus data, choose the specific bus from the bus drop-down list. The form changes to match the requirements for the serial bus you select as the trigger bus. All serial buses were defined in the sampling tab as discussed in an earlier video. Only one serial bus at a time can be selected for triggering. In this case, I only have one bus defined, so it's the I2C and I'll select that one. The serial bus trigger forms are all similar, with more differences occurring where a bus follows a specific protocol, such as CAN or LIN. So let's create an example trigger for this I2C bus. Let's examine some trace data from a prior capture in the waveform window to see what I mean. The complete bus values are entered in the serial bus forms, not the raw bits. So, as we can see in this example, the address in the first packet is 36 hex. So I can enter 36 in the trigger forms address field, and the next time the XL runs, it should trigger on that address. We're not interested in these raw signals down here when we're defining the triggering. Uh, this is displayed in the waveform window side by side, so you can see the raw signals al time aligned with the converted data. So let's go in and enter a 36. The I2C trigger form can detect a long series of values such as an address followed by up to nine data bytes. You can select that here. The series limits varies with the bus type, but usually it's about 64 serial bits, raw bits, or eight values assuming eight bits per value. Of course, this actual limit varies with the value widths or any overhead the bus may have. For example, assuming 16-bit values are used, then the trigger series is limited to about 4 values. The next video discusses the pre-store and pre-fill.